Yo, what's going on guys, it's Houston Sports Talk, back in the video today. Today we're going to be talking about a potential trade in the NBA, as one of the, you know, biggest rumors recently has uh, been that the New York Knicks might have a lot of interest in trading for Carl Anthony Towns this summer, as it's looking like Carl Anthony Towns might be available for trade, and the Knicks are looking to pair a star with Julius Randle and Jalen Bronson. Jalen Bronson you know, was fantastic in the playoffs this year and the two series they played against the Cavs in the Heat. Julius Randle was awful, but Julius Randle was amazing in the regular season. Uh, but besides that, they don't have a third guy next to them. I mean, I guess you would say their third best player this season was either R.J. Barrett or Emmanuel Quickly. And both guys had good seasons, I guess. But, I mean, R.J. averaged 19. Quickly was a six-man of the year candidate was i think fish finished second sec i think he finished second or third place so but i think they need to make a huge move this summer and this could be one of the potential ones i think uh two of the biggest guys they might be interested in the most is bradley beal and carl anthony towns and then also possibly the third guy i could see them maybe going after would We've heard something about Giannis Antetokounmpo about their monitor mo moderating him. Or, you know, they're 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 seeing what what's gonna be happening with Giannis. Um, you know, I don't think that's I don't think that's gonna happen. But I think right now the most likely trade candidates for the New York Knicks are Carl Anthony Towns and Bradley Beal. We're gonna talk about what a Carl Anthony Towns trade would look like to get him to New York and what it would look like for the New York Knicks. Um, with Carl Anthony Towns on the New York Knicks. So here's what I have the trade being to land Carl Anthony Towns in the in, in in the garden. I mean in New York with the Knicks. So I have Emmanuel Quickly, who was amazing this year. I think he averaged fifteen points, was third and sixth man of the year, and has had an amazing year and I think if he gets more minutes, he is a stud. He had multiple 40-point games and was amazing this year in the regular season. Then I have them also getting Obi Toppin, who had a really decent season. I uh, was better, really decent in the postseason. Um, I think they kind of need a four right now. If Carl Anthony Towns is on his way out, they kind of do need a starting four next to Rudy Gobert. And I think Obi Toppin would be a candidate to start at the four for the for the Timberwolves next season if Carl Anthony Towns gets traded and Obi Toppin comes in. And then at the final player I have the Timberwolves getting in the trade would be RJ Barron, who was the third overall pick in the 2019 draft. And, you know, obviously he... It's been it's he's had his moments and he's had his bad moments. It was okay in the playoffs, not great, but was solid. And I think maybe if the ball's in his hands more, um, which I don't know, I don't think it. You know, you'd have Conley starting at the one, Anthony Edwards starting at the two, and then I guess the three. Yeah, the, so the starting line for the Timberwolves, if if they do this trade with Carl Anthony Towns, would be Michael Mike. Mike Conley at the one, Michael Conley at the one, and then at the two, uh, then at the two would be Anthony Edwards, the three would be R.J. Barron, the four would be Obi Toppin, and then the five would be Rudy Gobert. So that should be the lineup for the for the Timberwolves if, uh, the, if this trade were to happen. Uh, and then Emmanuel quickly would be the sixth man, and then the rest of their bench rotation. So, I mean, it's not bad, um, but, you know... And then also, I do have the. I also do have the Timberwolves getting three first round picks, which which after trading all those first round picks for Rudy Gobert would be a huge. Would be, would be really nice to get some really decent first round picks when you lost almost all your first round picks in that Rudy Gobert trade. I have two th the Knicks two thousand twenty four and two thousand twenty five first round pick going over to uh, the going to the Timberwolves, and then I also have the 2024 first-round pick that belongs to the Washington Wizards, which I think then maybe the Knicks would make that top three or top five protected, mostly most likely top three protected, um, which the Wizards could be it's, you know, a top three worst team next season, but we'll see. That could be a really good pick for the Timberwolves next season if, uh, it, you know, if, if possibly, you know, the Wizards would possibly if the wizards would uh, be really bad next year but yeah so that that could be a trade I, the number one trade i could see happening to land 
Carl Anthony Towns in New York with Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson. Um, I think that's most likely. I mean, let's let's view what the lineup would be for the for the Knicks with this trade. You'd have the one being Jalen Brunson, the two would be Quinn and Grimes, the three would be Josh Hart. And the four would be Randall, and the five would be Carl Anthony Towns, and that's just assuming they don't make any other huge moves this off season, uh, which I think they could be more active than make it just trading, making a trade for a player like Carl Anthony Towns. I think they could be active and do something else if they were to do this trade. So you know, and I think some free agents might want to come over and play with Carl Anthony Towns and Jalen Brunson. I think that's a really good duo. I mean, I think they would have some really good chemistry. I think. Um, I think Randall would, you know, I think he'd be viewed as a, as a, the, I mean, I think he'd be able to shoot more, th- you know, he'll be able to shoot threes more. I mean, Robinson usually started at the five this year, but um, I think Randall, they needed him for more, you know, big man things, but I think Carl Anthony Towns come in. Carl, you got two good shooting big men in the starting lineup. Think about that. If Carl Anthony Towns at the five, who, if you could, if this trade happens, if you got Carl Anthony Towns at the five, an amazing three-point shooter, and then Julius Randle at the four, a really good three-point shooter as well. So you got you get your two big men are really good shooters. So that so like for instance, the trade with you know when Carl Anthony Towns and Rudy Gobert were on the tables this year, it just didn't feel right uh, because I don't know, I just didn't like I don't like Carl Anthony Towns at the four, and then I don't, I don't know I don't, I didn't like Carl Anthony Towns at the four, but with both guys and Rudy Gobert is not a good shooter. With both guys, you know, being able to both both guys being able to shoot, I think Carl Anthony Towns and Julius Randle would actually be a good big man duo, and would actually be really hard to face in the NBA. Carl Anthony Towns and Julius Randle, um, you know, on de- for other defenses in the NBA, Carl Anthony Towns and Julius Randle would be a really really hard task uh, for other defenses. So I think it'd be a really good trade for the Knicks, uh, but. I, if they were to do this trade, I think more needs to happen for the Knicks. This is not the only move they need to make. They need to make way more moves if this is something they might do. But I think it would be a great trade for the Knicks. You guys have your thoughts, and that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.